second video. So today, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a haul from one of my favorite retailers. And I know you guys absolutely love these videos. So I wanted to include it in an entire Vlogmas video because as I said, I did want to include lots of like fashion and lifestyle and everything in a massive mix because I don't want you guys to miss the fashion content. I love the fashion content. I love doing a bit of shopping and I know you guys love to see it too. So I thought today I would show you what I've been picking up from H&M for Christmas. They have such a gorgeous winter collection in right now. I'm absolutely obsessed. I feel like H&M do knits so, so well. So I'll warn you now, there's a lot of knits in this video. This is actually a H&M knit that I am wearing today. I featured this in my last H&M haul. If you did see it, I absolutely love it, especially paired with this tartan skirt, which is also from H&M. I'll link them both below in the description, don't you worry, guys. But I thought I would show you what I've been picking up, what I've been buying, and everything like that. And of course, I will be doing this as a try-on for you guys. For reference, if you're new around here, because I know a lot of you guys that watch these videos don't subscribe to me already. If you're new around here, I'm a size 10 on top and I'm a size 12 on bottom and I'm five foot in height. So I really am the epitome of a petite girl. Um, if you are new, I would love it if you subscribe. You can come and join me for more Vlogmas videos. I am uploading every single day throughout Vlogmas, Monday to Friday, so every weekday. And as I said, it's a massive mix of vlogs, interior, lifestyle, gift guides, fashion, everything like that. All of the good stuff basically. So I feel like I've been rambling on for about 10 minutes. Let's jump straight into the haul and I can show you what I've been picking up. Now the first item is such a festive item. I'm obsessed with this. If this jacket doesn't scream like a really cute Christmas jacket then I don't know what does. This is an absolutely gorgeous really like casual kind of bomber style jacket from H&M and it's got this really gorgeous oversized check detail as you can tell i do really like my tartan i like my checks especially in winter and i think this really like oversized check is such a nice pattern i really really like this it's not too much if you're the kind of person that doesn't really like a lot of check you don't like a lot of pattern i feel like this is a really really great option for you it's fairly subtle and understated for a pattern but i think it's really really cool now it's really thick actually i'm quite surprised at how thick it was when it arrived i wasn't sure if this was going to keep me nice and snugly warm but i think with a pair of leather leggings and a scarf this would keep you really really toasty now i picked this up in a extra small slash a small because I know H&M jackets do sometimes come up a bit oversized. I'm normally a medium across the board at H&M but I wanted to size down in this one because especially with my height and especially with bomber jackets I like them to be a bit shorter because otherwise they can sit a little bit funny on me and actually I'm really glad that I went for this size because I think this is an oversized jacket anyway, which means a extra small slash small is about true to size for me. Um, so just something to know if you are looking to pick this up. The sleeves look huge, which is really nice because that's always one of the biggest things I have with regards to like issues with coats in winter is having big enough sleeves to fit all of my layers underneath. But these sleeves look really, really great. I'm so excited to try this on and show you guys what this looks like. Okay. I think this is my new favorite coat in my collection. This is absolutely gorgeous. This to me is just so like casual and cute, a little bit festive and just very, very cozy. Like, as I said, it's really, really warm. I think it's wool on the outside, but it's not wool lined. Um, it has been lined with something else, so it means it's not itchy in the slightest. I absolutely love it. I really like the collar detail. If you did want to like, stay really cozy if it's like a really cold day you can even tuck it up i think that looks really really cool i love this so so much definitely glad i sized down because it means it sits really really nicely just above my hips i think if i'd gone for the medium it would have been a little bit too oversized and it would have swamped me a little bit but because the fact that it's got like really oversized sleeves because the body is fairly like chunky it does mean that i can fit a lot of layers underneath so even if i do want to dress up even colder even colder even if I want to dress up even warmer, if it is colder, this will keep me nice and snugly and I can layer it up underneath as well. So I'm just obsessed with this. I'll link it down below. I'm just praying it's still in stock for you guys because it is so, so cute. And the next thing that I picked up is making me so, so sad that I can't go skiing this year because this is such a cute retro ski jumper. I absolutely love this. Now, if you saw my last H&M haul, you would have seen this really gorgeous like white and gray Christmas jumper that I picked up. This is apparently like the blue version of it. So they're clearly kind of like 
they're like linked together on the website you know when it gives you the different options of colors this is the blue version now it is a completely different pattern but i absolutely love it it is definitely a similar kind of thickness similar material similar feel to the other one which i absolutely love it is very very soft like i do worry sometimes when i see stuff with like fibers sticking out it's gonna be itchy this isn't itchy at all which i absolutely love i just love the colors on it i think it looks really really 80s now i picked this one up in a small again especially with regards to H&M knitwear I always tend to size down in it because I do find that it does come a little bit oversized so I got for a small so I went for a small in this and I do think this is going to be a really nice fit just to wear with a pair of like leather leggings I wouldn't tuck this in I think I would probably just have this out loose and maybe a pair of chunky boots and like a beanie for a really nice weekend style I think this is really really cute Oh, this jumper is just so, so cute. It's making me want to go skiing. I can actually picture this tucked into a, a pair of salad pets with like a ski jacket on and a little beanie. It's making me so sad. I can't wait to travel again, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. I would definitely recommend getting your hands on this. This, I would say, is like, it's a fairly Christmassy jumper, but it's not too Christmassy that you could still wear this after December. And also, if you're someone that doesn't like to dress very festive or you want to be like a bit more casual festive, this is the kind of jumper for you. I think it is really, really cute. Now, size-wise, I'm definitely glad I got it in a small because I think a medium, I would have wanted to have tucked it in. And this is a really nice size not to have to tuck in for me. Um, but it's a nice length. Like, it's not too long. It's not too cropped. It's very, very nice. It just kind of sits nicely on my hips. And if I wanted to, I could easily tuck this into a pair of trousers and just kind of, like, bunch it over. There's not too much excess material, which is really, really nice. So, very happy with this. Very soft. Very cosy. Very me. I'm in love. Now next up is a jumper that I am praying is going to be in stock for you guys because I have a feeling this is going to sell out quick and it's this really really gorgeous detailed jumper it has this really cool frill detail I've noticed quite a lot of brands doing this kind of detailing this year it seems to be very very trendy for 2020 loads of different retailers Zara, ASOS loads have been doing this kind of like frill which I think is just so so cool I absolutely love how it looks I really like how it goes across the chest I think it kind of broadens your shoulders opens you up and I find it very very flattering when you tuck it into a pair of trousers because it really shows the difference between like your shoulders and your waist and it makes you look very very streamlined I absolutely love this it's very very thick it's a lot thicker than I was expecting it to be and very heavy this is probably the kind of jumper I wouldn't actually keep on a hanger because if you can see it is pulling a little bit um but I picked this one up in a small again i think all of these jumpers might be in a small to be perfectly honest because as i said h&m knitwear is usually quite oversized and actually looking at that that is very oversized for a small i could have probably even gone down to an extra small if i wanted it to be a little bit tighter fitted but i think tucked into a pair of high-waisted trousers this would be absolutely gorgeous do you know what guys i wasn't planning on wearing this jumper with this skirt but I actually love how it looks. As I said, I would just tuck this in to like a pair of trousers, I think. I'd probably tuck it into, I've got a really nice pair of chinos that I like belt, I think would look really, really nice. Or maybe even leather trousers would look really cool. But actually this skirt does look really, really cute. But I just love this jumper. It is absolutely gorgeous. As I said, it is a bit thicker than I was expecting, but it's not too thick. I think... I would actually style this up with thermals underneath, maybe tights on if I was going to wear a skirt and like thick socks and stuff and I wouldn't wear it with a coat because it is so like big and chunky. Obviously you've got a lot of detail here, you've got the balloon sleeves, I don't know if this would go under a coat. So I would probably wear this so that this was like the main focus of the outfit but I just think this is really, really cool. I love it, I love the colour, it doesn't wash me out at all either, I do sometimes find neutrals can be quite difficult to find nice ones that like match your skin tone, I'm obviously very very pale and this one doesn't wash me out which is amazing but I just love it so so much, I think it is so cool. I'm just going to pray that it's still in stock for you guys because you all need this in your lives. Next up we have another jumper. Now what I loved about this jumper is that this is definitely very like business in the front party in the back so if you can see here it's got this really gorgeous like cut out detail which looks so so cute i think this would be absolutely adorable for like a little festive jumper even for maybe a christmas day outfit tucked into like a tartan skirt would look so so gorgeous i absolutely love it now this jumper is actually a lot lighter than i was expecting it's quite thin so this would actually be a great christmas day jumper because i find it get really hot on christmas day i don't want something too thick i just want something a little bit snugglier that's going to keep me nice and toasty warm and i definitely think this is the one the only issue is that because it's quite light if you did want to layer up layers underneath 
I don't think you'd be able to because you would be able to see it through the back detail. So maybe just something to consider if you are looking to get this. Now I picked this one up in a small again. And again, it is very, very big, very oversized. It's got like this gorgeous balloon sleeve detail with a drop shoulder, which I find so, so flattering. It makes it a lot more like casual, really comfy and cozy. And again, a bit of a nod to the balloon sleeve trend. So I absolutely love this one. I think it's so, so gorgeous. This jumper is just the cutest thing ever. I absolutely love it. Are we ready to see the back? Is that not just the cutest thing? I love it so, so much. Now I do have a bra on and I feel like it just sits above the bra. I can't really see it that well. I'm hoping you guys can see it better than I can. If you can see the bra, I might end up having to not wear one. Um, but because it is fairly like see-through and it is fairly thin, I wouldn't want to wear no bra. Um, but I feel like if you can just see a tiny little bit of it, that doesn't bother me too much. But I just love it. It's so, so cute. Start up with this skirt as well. It's just gorgeous. I This skirt is just the most versatile skirt. I'm hoping it's still in stock. I'll link it down below. Um, but I just love it so, so much. It looks absolutely adorable. I think, obviously, because I have my hair down, it does cover the back a bit. So I think I would probably just tie my hair up in, like, a little bun. And then you can really, like, show off the detail, the little bow, and everything like that. But this is just the cutest little jumper. I think this is such a lovely Christmas Day outfit idea. This is such a lovely festive look. I think especially if you were to add a little pair of tights and chunky boots, maybe even a beret, I think that would look so cute. Next up, we've got a jumper with a bit of a twist. Now, I saw this online and I just thought it looked really, really cool. And I actually wanted to pick it up back in October, but it sold out really quickly. And it finally came back in stock and I am just in love with it. Now, it's got this really cool oversized collar detail, which I absolutely love. I think if you're someone with shorter hair, maybe like a bob or like a long bob or something like that, I think this would look really, really cool on you. Now it is cropped, which I do quite like because it means that when you tuck it in, there's not gonna be too much excess fabric underneath. Obviously on us short girls, it's probably still gonna be a bit too long, but because it does come like a bit tight around the waist, you might be able to just like pull it up a little bit and have it sit quite nicely on your waist. So I absolutely love this. It's like a really, really chunky woven knit, which I just love. I think I picked this up. Oh, I picked this one up in an extra small, which is interesting, which I think is why it looks quite tiny, but I think this looks like it's gonna be true to size on me. I would easily be able to wear this with just a pair of leather leggings. And I think styled up with that red coat would look so, so cool. Really festive without being like too Christmassy. I absolutely love that. I can't wait to show you guys what this one looks on. I think this is probably the coolest knit from this entire haul. This jumper is just so, so cool. I'm definitely glad I got it in an extra small because I think it is supposed to be a little bit oversized, but because of the collar, because of how chunky it is and how thick the like knit is, I think it would have swamped me a little bit. As a petite girl, sometimes it can be really, really easy for jumpers just to look like quite swampy and just be a little bit too overbearing. So I'm definitely glad I sized down to an extra small and it means it fits really, really nicely in like the sleeve length and in the body because it does mean that if I did want to tuck this in, there wouldn't be too much excess fabric at all. But actually it's also really nice and not tucked in. It's slightly cropped, so it hits just before my hips, which I think is quite a flattering crop on me. But I really do like the collar detail it's not too big like I was really worried it was going to sit like this and it's going to look like way too much but because you can kind of stretch the collar out a bit and you can just like loosen it around your neck I think it just looks really really cool I'm very happy with this I do believe it comes in two different colors so I'll link both down below for you guys because I would definitely recommend checking this out and picking it up I think it is such a cool chunky knit and next up, I picked up a skirt. Now, I have been wanting to get a little rah-rah skirt like this for so, so long, and I always call these rah-rah skirts. I don't know what the official name for these is. I think online it's just called it like a tiered skirt, because as you can see, it's got like the different tier systems going on. But I absolutely love these. I feel like these are really, really classic skirts that you can style it with loads of different things. If you guys have been following me at all, if you follow me on Instagram or anything, you'll know I'm obsessed with my black faux leather skater skirt. I wear it all the time and I felt like I needed another black skirt that was a little bit of a different style so that I can mix it up a little bit. So I picked this one up in a medium and I'm hoping it's going to fit. It's nice and stretchy. It should be really, really easy to style up, really easy to tuck chunky knits into as it is like really stretchy, really comfy. I... I love this. I think it's so, so gorgeous. Such a classic item. A really great staple piece to add into your wardrobe. This skirt is so, so cute. But the only thing 
I think it's too big. So obviously it's got a really like nice elasticated waistband, it's really nice and stretchy, but it just kind of, it wants to fall down. It doesn't quite sit on the smallest part of my waist. I would say I would just want it pinched in a little. So I might see if I can get my hands on the small, which I'm not gonna lie, especially my bottom half guys, I'm not a small at H&M. So this skirt does seem to be a little bit oversized, but I do really, really like it. The frills look so, so cute. The little kind of like tiered detail is so flattering. And I just love how like flouncy it is. It is so, so cute. And style of this jumper looks really nice as well. I really, really like how this looks. So I think I'm gonna have to size down because unless I was to wear a really chunky knit under this, these just don't feel like they are sitting as flatteringly as they could um so yeah i think i'm gonna have to size down in this one now the next item that i picked up i genuinely gasped when i saw this because this looks so much like an alexander mcqueen belt i could not believe it i picked it up so so quickly honestly added it straight into my basket i think i got this in a small i've already taken the label off i think it was or maybe it was a medium I'll leave below in the description box what size I got this in, but I'm so, so obsessed with it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The first thing I'm going to do is take this off. It's like this little weird coin purse. I know it's trying to be edgy. I know it's trying to be cool, but to be perfectly honest, who needs that? So I would just wear the belt like this, and I really, really like how it looks. The fact that it's got the, like, goes thicker and thinner, I think is going to be so, so flattering. And it's actually got a stretchy waistband at the back, which means it's going to be really, really comfortable to wear. So I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like on. I think this is just absolutely stunning. Such a great belt, which is a much lower price point than the Alexander McQueen one, but looks just as expensive. And the next item to show you guys, I'm going to call a jumper dress. It is not labelled as a jumper dress on H&M. I don't think it's advertised as that. I don't think it's designed for that. However, with my little legs, this is very much a jumper dress. And I'm so, so obsessed with this. I think this is just called a long line cable knit jumper. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I love H&M for their cable knits. They do such good cable knits. Now, I will say this is a little bit itchy. It's not quite the same fabric as the kind that I'm wearing right now. It does feel like it could be a little bit itchy, but I feel like if you were just to pair it with like a roll neck underneath, you'd be absolutely fine. Obviously, it doesn't like hug you, so you shouldn't need to worry too much. Now, I got this one in a small. Probably could have gone up to a medium if I wanted it to be a bit more oversized and a bit baggier and looser, but I think a small is going to be a really, really nice fit for me. Hopefully, it's not too short on my legs. I'll show you guys what it looks like on. I know how difficult it can be for us to find nice jumper dresses. I've tried so, so many, and none of them fit me. So I tend to just opt for long line jumpers that aren't advertised as dresses because on our little legs, they fit very well as dresses. So I'm very excited to try this on and show you guys what this looks like. I absolutely adore this little jumper dress. This is the cutest thing ever. Now I'm just gonna warn you, I am wearing black pants, <laughs> which probably wasn't the best thing to wear, but I don't think you can see them too much through the jumper, I think. It's not too bad. Um, so definitely wear nude underwear with these, but I just think the length is perfect. As you can see, it's kind of like mid thigh, which let's be honest, that's where you want your jumper dresses to come down on you. You don't want them to be any longer, otherwise it starts to get a little bit unflattering. You want to show a little bit of leg. But this is just so cute, and this is the small as well. I could have easily gone for a medium, and it probably would have come down a little bit longer on me. But I love this so, so much. It is absolutely adorable, so snuggly, so cosy. It is a little bit itchy, mainly just on my body. I would probably just put a little roll neck underneath this, or like a thermal top, just so that it doesn't itch me too much. But it's not too bad. This is definitely something that I can tolerate, and I have very, very sensitive skin. I don't like wool. I don't like natural fabrics, but I do find that this is tolerable so just a word of warning if you are very sensitive with your skin but i think it's definitely doable and worth it because it is just so cute and the last item that i picked up you might be looking at this and thinking that is not a very ellie jumper if you guys have been following me for a while i'm not really ones for like big branded jumpers but i saw this online and just thought that looks so cool sometimes i wish i could be more cool like i see all these cool girls wearing these like really cool jumpers and like looking really cool and i'm like i'm just not i'm not cool and I feel like this is cool. I mean, it's Coca-Cola cool, isn't it? But I just thought this started up with a pair of leather leggings and chunky boots and a beanie. So cute. I absolutely love the sound of that. It's really, really oversized. I think I picked this up in a small. I did indeed. And as you can see, it is huge. So I would definitely say size down. Maybe one or even two sizes if you can. So I would definitely say size down one. Maybe even two sizes if you can. But I absolutely love how it looks. It's got this really cool bat wing jumper 
satin jumper, that ring sleeve going on, and it is quite a bit long lined, um, so I think paired with leggings would be absolutely perfect. I just really like how this looks. I think this isn't my normal kind of style, but sometimes when you see something that you like, you just gotta get it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I did not think this would be the kind of thing that I would ever go for in 2020. This is so not my style, but I love it. I just love it. I think it's so, so cool. As I said, start up with like a black beanie. I've got black leather leggings on. I'll link these down below in the description if you would like to shop them. Probably wear them with either my Balenciagas or a pair of really chunky black boots. I think that would look so, so cool. But I love this. It is just so cozy, so cute. And I think making steps towards being a cool girl. Not quite there yet, but I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> okay guys, so there we have my H&M winter haul. These are the pieces that I am picking up for my winter slash my Christmas wardrobe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to see all of the pieces on, styled up and showing you how I would wear them. I absolutely loved doing this haul. I love H&M so, so much. One thing I will say though is I'm just gonna pray that these items are still in stock because H&M is going out of stock so, so quickly. If they're not in stock, I would definitely suggest bookmarking them because they seem to bring them back quite regularly, but then like the stock goes like that again. So if there is anything from this haul that you liked, make sure to bookmark it if it isn't still in stock. And as I said, if you're new around here, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when videos are going live. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next episode in Vlogmas. Bye.